In this video, I will show you how to transfer crypto from Binance to Uniswap. So let's jump straight into it. As you can see, I'm currently here on Binance.com. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is grab your wallet address for where you want to transfer this across to. So for this tutorial, we're going to be looking at Uniswap. So what you're going to want to do is come across to Uniswap first of all. So if you come across to Google and type Uniswap, and what you want to do is open up the first result, which is uniswap.org. So this is the official website. And then from here in the top right hand corner, all you want to do is come and click on to launch app. Next, what you're going to want to do, if you've not already, you're going to want to connect your account. So if this is the first time you're using Uniswap, it's going to ask you to connect your account first of all. So once you've connected your account, you're going to see in the top right hand corner your wallet address. Of course, I've blurred mine out for security reasons. But what you want to do is click onto this. And what you can then do is next to your wallet address, you're going to see a little symbol to copy this address. So you want to click onto that and that's going to copy it to your clipboard. Next, what you want to do is come back to Binance. And from here, you want to come up to the top right hand corner, hover over the wallet and then click onto the fiat and spot option. Now, what you need to do is just scroll down and find your crypto. Now, I just want to point out at this point that the wallet address you're transferring to has to match the crypto you're sending. So for example, if you want to send across Ethereum, then the wallet address you're sending to needs to be an Ethereum wallet. If you wanted to do Bitcoin, it would be, need to be a Bitcoin wallet and so on and so forth. So for the purpose of this, I've gone for Ethereum. So what I'm going to do is come to the search box up here and just type Ethereum into here. And now we can see Ethereum is at the top. So what you're going to want to do once you find your chosen coin is come to the far right hand side to this action section. And what you're going to want to do from here is click on to withdraw. So now we're on the withdrawal page. What you're going to want to do is make sure that your correct coin is selected. If it's not, then just go ahead and choose it from the drop down box here. And what you can do is search for your coin as well. Uh, what you then want to do is come down to the next section where it says send to. Make sure this is selected onto address. And where it says address, what you want to do is paste your wallet address into here. So again, I've had to blur mine out just for security reasons. And what you then want to do is scroll down and choose your third party network. So you can choose who choose to withdraw this. So you can have a look through at the different rates and the arrival time. So for this example, I'm just going to go with ERC20 Ethereum. And what you're then going to want to do is just choose the amount that you're looking to transfer across. So you would just enter this into here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put 10. Once you've done that, all you need to do is click the yellow withdrawal button down here. And what that's going to do is initiate a withdrawal to your Uniswap wallet. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, make sure that the coins do match. So in other words, if you want to transfer Bitcoin, then make sure it's your Bitcoin wallet address from Uniswap you're using. Or if it's Ethereum, then use your Ethereum Uniswap wallet address. Just make sure they match before you do this, otherwise it's not going to work. And once that's done, they will process that through. So I hope this quick tutorial helped out today, and if it did, I'd really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this quick video, and I will see you in the next tutorial.